A five-year-old boy presents to the pediatrician with his mother. The boy has been complaining of a sore throat and a and headache for the past two days. His mother states that he has a fever of 39.3 degrees Celsius, which is 102 degrees 0.7 degree Fahrenheit. So always, you know, check out the Fahrenheit scale. If you are short of time, Fahrenheit scale is very easy and it will tell you if the patient has fever or not. Anything above 99 is a fever. Okay. So, and has difficulty eating. On examination, the patient has cervical lymphadenopathy and erythematous tonsils with exudates. He also has bilateral conjunctival injection. A streptococcal rapid antigen detection test is negative. Which of the following is most likely causative agent? Option A, gram-negative pleomorphic obligate intracellular bacteria. Option B, naked double-stranded DNA virus. Option C, gram-positive beta-hemolytic cocaine chains. Option D, enveloped single-stranded negative sense RNA virus. And option D, option E, enveloped double-stranded DNA virus. A five-year-old boy presents to the pediatrician with his mother. The boy has been complaining of a sore throat and headache. For the past two days, his mother, okay, so here the patient has, you know, conjunctival injection. Whenever there is an adenovirus, when, whenever there is a kid, we consider an adenovirus. Uh, the patient usually has hemorrhagic cystitis, that is red urine. I tried to give that hint, okay. But uh, then there is conjunctival injection, conjunctivitis, pink eye. Patient, the question might mention pink eye and cervical lymphadenopathy, cervical adenopathy. It will be adenitis. Uh, that, that should be given. So three of these, the triad of cervical lymphadenopathy, hemorrhagic cystitis, and uh, uh, pink eye, conjunctivitis along with a streptococcal rapid antigen test of negative streptococcal rapid antigen test should easily point you towards uh, adenopathy. It is very common in, amongst children. And that particular virus is a naked virus and it is double standard DNA virus. So the option B was the correct answer over here. All right, let's see if they have any extra information. It is spread by respiratory droplets, common cause of conjunctivitis in children. Okay, that is all. So just remember that it also causes hemorrhagic cystitis. So red urine, that is also, you know, seen in this type of patients. Uh, that is a common occurrence. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.